That's, that's a very good question. And I think um, what uh, uh, Swayze said, sorry, I was just trying to think who said it. What Swayze said there is, is such fantastic advice. Treat everybody with respect. And you know, when I think about that, you know, I can go back to something that I did that was, when I look back, I am, it's disgusting. The South African Open Championship was played at Houghton one year. And I hit my ball and ran through the bunker into a little hole, like a little uh, furrow that was dug. And I thought that this furrow was ground under repair because it had been dug to allow water to get out the bunker. So I thought I should get a free drop. I called for a ruling, they wouldn't give me a free drop. I went into a sock for three days. Okay? I didn't, I didn't even talk to my putter. I was in such a sock for three days. But the one thing it did do is it actually motivated me to actually go out there and play better. And I actually won the South African Open that particular year. But I went into such a sock. Dan Retef, you all know Dan Retef, does mainly rugby now. Dan Retef, every single time I see him, he reminds me of that tournament. He still today reminds me of that tournament because he was around. And he says, Hayes, you were so bloody disgusting. You wouldn't, I wouldn't talk to the media or anything. And most of them lost complete respect for me. It took me ages to get them back as friends. So no matter how you play, always be respectful. And there we can learn from people like Jack Nicklaus, Tiger Woods, Ernie Els. There are so many great examples of guys, doesn't matter, Jordan Speed. It doesn't matter whether he shoots 65 or 75. He treats the media and everybody else the same. He signs autograph. I'll tell you another one that, well, I'm a big fan of Rory McIlroy. Doesn't matter what he does, he signs autographs, he treats the media properly, he does that. Guys, that is your job. It doesn't matter whether you play well or badly. It's your job. Your father's job is different. What do you do, sir? He's a financial manager. He's got third, certain things he has to do to complete his job. One of the things you have to do to complete your job is sign autographs and treat the media properly. Treat them with respect. Answer their questions. That's your job. So it's a brilliant question. Well done. It's good that you're thinking like that already. But the fact of the matter is if you have made mates with the media, if you've been able to be available to them and show them the respect. Here's what I want from someone when I interview. I want them to be truthful. I want them to be honest. I want them to give me five minutes of their time and give me something that I can use. I'll go back to rugby this time. I've given you a boxing example, a beautiful example. A year before Jake White and the team won the 2007 Rugby World Cup, we lost to Australia, 49 zip. It's a bit like last week. And the fact of the matter is, Jake had made friends with everyone in the media, not because he was wanting to kiss their butts, if you excuse me, excuse me saying so. He knew that it's part of his job. And even though they, they took to him, he still spoke to them. They treated him with respect. He treated them with respect. And that's a simple trade-off. Because the guys know, the guys in the media know that they can't treat you too badly because there comes a point where it's kind of, there have been a few players in South African golf who the media ignored for very long because they treated the media very badly. No names, no factual. But you don't want to put yourself in that situation. There, Hazy told you that it took him years to get the media back on his side. And you don't want to end up in that scenario. Be truthful about everything. Pitch up for every interview that you're asked. And if anyone stops you and asks you anything from the media, you give them the real and the truthful answer, the way that it comes out of your heart. Because the guys in the media know Yeah, I, I agree with you 100%. Um, obviously, because I've worked both sides, I've been a player and um, with Dale and Arnold, I've done a bit of television, and there's nothing worse than learning about some of the mistakes you might have made when you were on the, the player's side. Um, but what you need to do is go and see people like Arnold that are in the media, and wherever they are, Dale that does television all the time. Say, listen, what I, I don't really know about this. They will give you advice any time.